It's week 33 as we begin the countdown to the end of the year. And rather than coasting through the finish line, I'd like to see you guys sprint. Give it your all these last five weeks before finals and see what you're capable of. There is plenty of time to learn something new, to do something new, to explore something new. Like the electromagnetic spectrum. Hey, Scotch, I saw that in junior high or I saw it in high school and I, I know about that. What do you know about it? Seriously. What is the range from on this chart, radio waves to gamma waves? What's the difference in size? You know, what's the difference between the length of a football field and the size of an atomic nuclei? You know, and we radiate heat at a wavelength that equals the thickness of a piece of paper. And we see visible light. Well, look at that. That's a big old chunk. <laughs> this is not drawn to scale because we're somewhere in between the, the piece of the electromagnetic spectrum, uh, the thickness of a piece of paper, and the width of a mo water molecule. About 400 billionths of a meter is tiny, is what we can see, perceive with our own eyes. Of course, we have other instruments to be able to measure, see, you know, and be aware of all these other wavelengths. Science is cool. However, science can't cover everything, you know, trying to help you understand uh, that in that electromagnetic spectrum, we see the world through a, a tiny slit. And this narrow window in reality is restricted further by censorship taking place between the eye and the brain. Oh, come on, man. If I can see it, I can think it, I, I perceive it. Sure about that? If we processed every single thing we could see, our brains would be overloaded. There's a filtering mechanism in order to help us survive. And it is there through evolution and, you know, a, all kinds of different animals have different filtering systems. And what they perceive is quite often very different than what we perceive. What we can do that they can't is study this. How do we know there's censorship between the eye and the brain? Well, maybe I'll cover that in uh, another day. This is long enough. We are at T minus 12 days until you have a sub on the 13th day. Uh, the sub days are now um, narrowed down. I hope to be back for finals. That is, that's my goal. I want to be back for finals. I had uh, the meeting with the doc and kind of laughed at me when I uh, told him my plans and said, you know, this is for the next 20 years. You have to be smart about this. And so I'm going to try to be smart, and I'm going to try to make this work for all of us. But you have the power. What kind of censorship is taking place between your eye and your brain when it comes to what I show you? And how about your ear and your brain, what I tell you? what I ask you to do, what I offer you in opportunity. And I'll do another basketball player. <laughs> you guys, take this time to do something amazing. See what you can do. Find out. You'll never know if you don't try.